what's up gamers are you tired of sword and shield yet are you not tired of sword and shield yet well either way there has been speculation and rumors going around about a third dlc since the first dlc was announced honestly but we got isle of armor we got crown tundra why would there be a third dlc especially with the big argument the pokemon company already packaged a physical game you could buy being sword and shield plus the expansion bonus so you could go into walmart and buy sword and shield and the expansions for like 70 bucks or whatever 80 bucks so why would there be a third dlc they would have just waited to package that when the third dlc came out right well hold your gamer horses because the third dlc might not even be an entire island it could actually be just the remaining pokemon they haven't added in the game but also fourth gen remakes are coming out it's been confirmed we are all expecting it fourth gen plus legends arceus so why are they going to continue updating an old pokemon game that would be sword and shield at this point they've never done that in the past well i was skeptical too i had all these points and i kind of brushed it off but i started thinking we're getting fourth gen remakes we don't know if there's a national dex in fourth gen yet it could very well be this just fourth gen game with the fourth gen pokedex up you know no fifth gen sixth gen seventh gen eighth gen pokemon and whatever just straight up platinum remake and i say platinum remake because it has you know features from platinum in brilliant diamond and shining pearl you know like with porygon z and all that with that possibility what are they going to do with competitive i've actually seen people like oh yeah sword and shield competitive like you know the vgc will just stay on sword and shield whatever but if the competitive stays on sword and shield how are they going to keep sword and shield fun you know what i mean they add a new series every few months or every month i don't even know i think it's every few months right now it's actually in series nine but that's going to continue all the way through legends rcs i'm assuming they've got to do something they did something cool where they allowed one legendary in the rotations for a little bit but they just took that out and went back to the old rule set so i think it'd be very very likely that if they were to continue updating sword and shield for competitive purposes it wouldn't be too far-fetched to speculate in a more likely manner that there will be freaking an update to include other pokemon like that is not unlikely now that i think of it before i was like no way like why would they do that that's that's silly considering competitive they haven't even had a worlds they used to have a worlds every year but with corona as you guys obviously know we haven't had a worlds or really any events no e3 no anything and pokemon wants to make up for no worlds they want to keep competitive alive and fresh so i think an update for the rest of the pokemon being in sword and shield is pretty likely honestly at this point i'd be i would be surprised if it didn't happen but also i guess would i be surprised i don't know maybe <laughs> maybe it is too good to be true it just makes a lot of sense though you know going on the premise that fourth gen Gen will not be the competitive game right now fourth gen includes every pokemon whatever and that's the new competitive game then that makes sense and it's all good like if we load up brilliant diamond shining pearl and there's a competitive battling mode then okay but i think it's gonna be like let's go pikachu and eevee where there were online battles but there was no like ranks you know what i mean like they weren't loading up let's go pikachu and eevee at the worlds <laughs> to compete with first gen pokemon you know uh that would be cool but yeah i think it's gonna stay on sword and shield obviously who knows what legends arceus will bring the combat system with that is totally different and legends arceus could also be competitive just in its own meta away from sword and shield like there's no pokemon tournaments replacing the world's vgc right it's its own little meta its own little tournaments they got going on so anyways where is this all coming from well let me show you guys so this post came out on february 22nd 2020 on a nice saturday evening <laughs> and the leaker will call him titled it updates five minute talk i will be here for five minutes answering questions on my post sword and shield oh boy the next few games will be sword and shield dlc one and two 200 plus mons 2021 dominant pro remakes simple remake this will not replace sword and shield Sinnoh Dex plus 100 more so that's interesting actually according to this leak it'll be the og national Sinnoh Dex, right so no fifth gen and beyond pokemon but there will be 100 more pokemon included on top of the original decks for i guess pokemon platinum 2021 sword and shield dlc 3 releasing the rest of the missing pokemon plus three new mythicals so yeah that would be this year obviously 20 21 maybe towards the end of the year maybe fourth gen comes out and they just give us this crazy update uh or they do something maybe they'll space it out to keep the hype between all the games and then of course 2022 project kingpin as we know legends rcs was announced to be released in 2022 so project kingin i said kingpin <laughs> project kingin could be the code name i guess for legends rcs who who knows now looking through older posts i remember when sword and shield just dropped masuda actually said we currently don't have plans to make the pokemon that are missing from the galar pokedex available in game 
this is an approach that we want to continue with in future pokemon games up until now it hasn't been possible to encounter every pokemon in every game so people had to transfer them from old games to the new game by using pokemon bank as an example now this was asked in 2019 like right around sword and shield dropping you can see right here november 10th 2019 502 p.m and since then we have seen additional pokemon being added through the isle of armor through the crown tundra so maybe he didn't want to hint at the dlc and their future plans or put anything set in stone just yet or reveal anything like i said so this doesn't necessarily confirm no national decks ever existing he even said specifically we currently don't have plans to make the pokemon that are missing from galar pokedex available in the game that doesn't mean we for sure will never do this ever again just currently they didn't want to give anything away i think as of now this statement is outdated and not as relevant in 2021 as it was in november 19th when speculating on a national dex coming to sword and shield or not obviously it is still relevant it is a statement that happened i'm using it in this video but we're seeing sort of a timeline here with pokemon being added and added most of the missing pokemon are fourth gen mons and a lot of second gen mons we're getting a fourth gen game so obviously we're gonna have all the fourth gen mons in that game so will we be able to transfer them in the new games who knows but definitely don't take this old statement too literally anyways though anything's possible we got pokemon sword and shield dlc so like i said anything's freaking possible who knows what we're getting this year but i just wanted to address this because a lot of people will come to me and say like yo bro we're getting uh, a third dlc we're getting the uh the the cinderace citadel or whatever <laughs> which if you guys don't know is this right here the cinder citadel and the scepter c uh these are just fan concept arts these are not real and they're actually made by the same artist who did the jungle of jewels dlc concept art they even you know posted on reddit here and said another pokemon sword and shield dlc three concepts the jungle of jewels <laughs> so I, I really like this this art is amazing uh and i like the concept it's super dope this person definitely knows what they're doing and again that is elite robo 04 on reddit but yeah i just get asked about these on stream so obviously those are fan arts we just seen it firsthand the affleck leak that came out it freaking exposed everything about sword and shield in february of 2019 happened bro like that itself is insane so there was an affleck leak if you don't know and it just it talked about dynamaxing it talked about the starters it talked about uh the rivals so much stuff it was ridiculous bro <laughs> so with that leak being a thing you know seven eight months whatever before sword and shield actually dropped i am not doubting anything i see right off the bat i will look into it and i will consider most things uh, obviously some things just look absolutely absurd but there's something unique about leaks that end up being real it's almost like it's too creative for anybody else to make up on their own that it's like it has to be real but you only ever realize it when it comes true like oh wow obviously right it, because it's so outlandish that you're like no wait dynamax gigantamax what are you talking about that those aren't even, aren't even real words like why would they include that this is such a fake leak cinderace cute cute name whatever affleck leak uh and then it comes down and you're just like bruh <laughs> so yeah I, I i won't doubt this yet um i will be surprised though if they end up going on with competitive and sword and shield and not adding at least some more pokemon to the decks i mean that would just and just completing sword and shield i think that would be awesome that would be a big win for game freak i would love to I, we would all love to see that obviously but yeah again i just want to address this i always get asked about it so i hope you all enjoyed i hope this answered some questions you guys had let me know any critiques you have and leave a like on the video if you enjoy because it helps me a ton leave a dislike if you did not like it and let me know why and i will see you on the guy i will see you guys on the next one soon peace out <laughs>